So we're given a couple of circle equations, two different types of forms, and we're asked to write down the centres and the radii of the two circles. So let's proceed with that. The first one is in the standard form of x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. And the centre is given by ab and the radius is given by r. So there's the centre and there's the radius. So for C1, the centre is... Now we're subtracting negative 5 here for the x-coordinate and we're subtracting 6. So the centre is five, negative 5, 6. The radius that's the radius squared, so the square root of that is 3, positive square root. The radius is 3. So that works for C1. Circle 2 is slightly different. Let's look at x squared plus y squared. And there's an x term. Now there is no y term. So I'll just put 0y. Minus 16 equals 0. Now the procedure this time to find the centre is after we've checked that there's a 1x squared and a 1y squared we know this procedure works. We look at the coefficient of x negative 6. We half it, we get negative 3. And we change the sign. So that'll be positive 3. We then look at the coefficient of y we half it, that'll still be 0, and we change the sign, that'll still be 0. So the centre we now know is 3, 0. And once we've got the centre, the radius can be easily calculated. It's the square root of, we square each of these terms and add them, so 3 squared, that's 9, 0 squared, that's 0, and then we take away the constant term at the end. Watch out whether it's positive or negative. So we're taking away negative 16. That's adding 16. So we get the square root of 25, which is 5 for that radius. So let's now see what part B is asking us to do. And it's saying, show that C1 and C2, that's these two circles, do not intersect. Well, I think we should maybe have a look at a, a diagram just to see roughly what's going on so we can figure out our strategy. So the centre of the first circle, negative 5, 6, that's down here somewhere, with a radius of 3. And then the second circle, C2, this is C1, the C2 circle, centre 3, 0, with a radius of 5. So there's 3, 0, and a radius of 5. Now, if they don't intersect, let's join up the, the, the two centres. If they don't intersect, then let's look at the radius of c1 and the radius of c2. We know the radius of c1 was 3. We know the radius of uh, c2 is 5. And with the best will in the world, if the distance between these two centres is more than 8, these circles will not touch. If the distance is actually 8, they'll just touch at one point. And if the distance is less than 8, they'll overlap. So it's crucial to find out the distance between the two centres. So the distance between the centres is that'll be the square root of the x difference squared plus the y difference squared. If we look at the two, uh, the two centres, there's C1 and there's C2. 
So the x difference, negative 5 minus 3, and the y difference, 6 minus 0. So that's the square root of negative 8 squared plus 6 squared. That's 64 plus 36. Square root of 110. Since 10 is greater than the sum of the radii, which we know was 3 plus 5, then the two circles, C1 and C2, do not intersect.